Okay guys, just a little uh, video here, uh, just on a first test of the EMW um, EV dashboard, uh, stroke EV display system. I uh, just got it fired up here now. Um, I was having a few problems earlier with it. Uh, uh, pretty much down to the fact that uh, this is my first time playing with a tablet or the Android OS and um, but uh, everything just pretty much uh, powered up um, as soon as I figured out what I'd been doing um, so um, this is a, I think it's a 10 inch tablet uh, it's just a Toshiba tablet I borrowed from a friend um, it's got the uh, it's got Android 2.2 on it. Um, it's uh, an older tablet, and uh, I've just gone through some basic setups on it. Um, I've got the actual system here just on the bench. Uh, it's just powered up from a 12 volt power supply. It's drawing something in about 70 milli amps uh, at 12 volts, so that's not too bad. Uh, you can see the status LEDs are blinking away happily on it there. I'm not sure what they um, signify, but it seems happy. Anyway, um, on the actual sensor board, what I've done just to actually test it, I, I don't have a pack voltage uh, set up on it, but I just put some, just some cable I I. I found here just through the hall sensor about five times and I just got a little 7 amp hour uh, just an old crappy gel battery 12 volt gel battery here and what I've been doing to test it I've been pretty much just uh, shorting out the gel battery through the turns through the current sensor just to see if it caused the gauges here to kick and uh, indeed it does so I'm gonna try and Film this. I'm not exactly Cecil B. DeMille, so I'm not going to make a real mess out of this. I'd say so. On the uh, on the display here, I've got a battery amps gauge, battery volts, um, power, uh, fuel gauge, and current in decimal format and hot hours per mile in decimal format also now <coughs> all of these gauges can be uh, you can change the um, orientation on them you can change the positions on them I haven't figured out how to change the full scale deflection on them uh, so that's to be something I'll have to ask the guys um, but it's just a first test and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to try and hold the camera on the battery amps gauge and I'm going to short out this gel battery so here goes nothing and got nothing bad connection or else I've burnt out the battery <laughs> oh there we go okay there we go there's a nice kick Whoa. And uh, our current here gives a nice, uh, ooh, look at that. Going to be a good, uh, getting a bit of smoke going on here, so better let that cool down a bit. So that just proves that uh, the system is actually transmitting data um, from the uh, from the little Bluetooth uh, sender there down to the to the actual gauge is now what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and exit out of this and just uh, go back in just to show you guys uh, what actually happens so if I just exit out of it oh can't do that oh okay interesting let's press this button I'm still trying to figure this thing out uh, uh, I'm not exactly um, that familiar with it so uh, okay, we're going to go. So 
So you want to adjust the icon for the EMW display. Connection failed and then it uh, goes through a little so it says connected and uh, we just uh, short circuit the battery again to uh, see what happens. Yeah, there we go. So uh, the only thing I really need to do is to be able to change the full scale deflection of these uh, gauges because I somehow don't see myself uh, being able to have 350 volts at a thousand amps uh, anytime soon and you know to have the red line at 280 horsepower would be um, fun but uh, not in my current setup um, so oh yeah just something else here I've, I figured out how to bring up a menu here push this button and you can select gauge unlock which will let you move the gauges or on the screen, Bluetooth connection and exit. Okay, so if we go select gauge, uh, this is a list of the gauges that you can actually have. There's a few more, I'll try and scroll down. Hmm, interesting. So the thing I'm not seeing here is how to actually, as I say, change the full scale deflection. So that's uh, something I'll have to uh, something I'll have to figure out. But anyway, that's it, guys. And I have to say now, this looks uh, this looks absolutely deadly. Um, so can't wait to get it uh, get it tested in the car. But uh, I think this is a hit. Okay, well, hardly the best video that I could have done on it, but I just wanted to get something up there because, uh, as I say, this is, uh, I think this is great. Um, so, okay, I'll sign off and uh, hopefully figure out some more features of this thing and hopefully not uh, cook that gel battery. Okay, guys, see you later.